All right, we are back with Josh and Keith, known as Magnetic Tapes. Uh, guys, Tinder Deception, thoughts? <laughs> oh, man. It's fun. Yeah, is it's, it's a lot of fun. Battle? Is, is there a right way to battle? Tinder? Is there a wrong way to Tinder? I don't know. Are I the, think what are the ethics? Maybe, maybe, no. Is, it just, is my answer. Just no. It's like Westworld. It's like a new frontier, you know? Ooh, With yeah. a lot of androids and robots. Only your phone. Just your phone, Just yeah. your phone. Just your yep. phone and you. Yep. So, uh, you guys started talking about how long... You said you've been playing music together for like 20 years. Like, yeah. Yeah, obviously you haven't been doing Shout this out. style this whole whole time, have you? No. no. We, uh, <clears throat> we started out like a lot of people our age with playing really bad pop punk music. Yeah. <laughs> On a four track. <laughs> On a four track. We, yeah. We, yeah, we, we recorded to tape. Literal <laughs> tape. Which we still have a lot of those. Which yep. we'll... Probably not be playing any of that tonight. No. Well, yeah. I mean, unless you want to. No, we're, we're going to leave that. It's in the archive. We're going to leave that okay. in the archive. There. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a slow evolution. I mean, we, you know, I lived in Las Vegas for 11 years, so that kind of put a put a big stop on things for a while. But That'll do it. But, you know, we would keep in touch, and I'd come back, and we would just kind of hole up and make a song a year, just kind of like do that. And then I came back here about seven years ago. And then um, did a bunch of other bands. I was in some punk bands here in Cleveland. I'm in a hardcore band now called Significant Loss. And uh, But me and Josh have always done our thing, and now we're kind of trying to make it more of a thing. Okay. Does that and, make sense? Oh, yeah, yeah. So when, when you were in Las Vegas, Josh, mm-hmm. what were you doing? I, I was doing, we were doing similar music. It was the pop punk turned into emo, turned into screamo Scream days. Mode. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, the used, I remember Fitch, all those. You yeah, know. so we were. You, you know. I remember. Yeah, 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 it was a thing. So we were doing that. I was doing that in my own band. He was doing something similar in Vegas during that time. But during the, during the times he'd come home for a vacation, which would be like a week, we would just get together and we would write usually stuff that wasn't anywhere near what our bands were doing we, it would be acoustic it would be uh, you know semi-electronic based we were kind of forced to use you know a synthetic drums and things because we were only two people and stuff and that's kind of how we found the keyboard and, and kind of started heading that way slowly yeah, yeah. it started tinkering yep. I, will, I had an old okay. Yamaha yeah, old it Yamaha took us a while. To, it took us a while to get to where we are now. <laughs> like the old Casio. Yeah, it was. It was. I used to play drums with my two fingers, like chicken yeah. pecking, like oh, yeah. keyboard keys, and that's what that, I was a drummer. And tell people he was a drummer, and <laughs> I would tell yeah, people. I would literally tell. Yeah, I play the drums. He plays the drums. I've never <laughs> touched the drums. He doesn't have a drum sticker life. kit or the, kit or these anything. two index fingers, yeah, baby. Right here, pew pew. That's right. <laughs> it's good times. Uh, 